So it's been scrubbed at the last minute. And all the people from Illinois, Naples, England might miss it. This is our new park. Lots of astronauts' fingerprints. Wally Shara. Those are his fingerprints. This Wally Shara. Shara. And here's Stu Rusa, Apollo 14. And Edgar Mitchell, who I have met. Apollo 14 is the last man to be on the moon, Edgar Mitchell. And he's the one who believes there are other beings out there. Edgar Mitchell. And here's Ken Mattingly. Don Mattingly's brother, oddly enough, an astronaut. So this is our park in Titusville. So you can put your hand in the hand of the man who went out into space. Titusville, Florida. These are our new monuments to space travel. And today's launch was canceled. They'll try again tomorrow and then on Saturday. And it will be the biggest blast since the Apollo program. Apollo 1. And it's the Kennedy Space Center. Here's Kennedy himself right here. And he's the one that decided we should go to the moon, Alice. And here's Buzz Aldrin and his fingerprints in Titusville, Florida. Oh my goodness, Neil Armstrong. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. First man on the moon. Apollo 11. These are all the cars leaving Titusville because the launch of the heavy rocket blasting Orion up 
farther than any rocket has gone in years since all our space shuttles are now done in Russia. But anyway, even before that, this is our most powerful rocket. So Titusville is directly across from the Kennedy Space Center. And here's the Challenger and the Columbia, which were lost. So the only blast you hear today in Titusville is motorcycle engines. But this is our uh, monument to the space shuttle, Titusville, Florida. We lost 6,000 employees in the last few years when they stopped the shuttle program. Columbia tragedy. And this is where they blasted. Florida, Titusville, Florida. So now it's two minutes to launch, and it's gotten very, very bright. Yeah, it's on a hold. And we're on a hold. Oh my God, it's still recording.